Yes, lads, welcome back to the channel for another video, for another match day vlog, Euro 2020, last 16, the last day of the uh, last 16, and it is England against Germany live at Wembley. I'm buzzing because it's England news. People are getting bantered, and I can't wait. Uh, you know, they bantered us when we lost to Denmark 4 0. I don't care now because all I want to do is to see Germany progress into the quarterfinals tonight at Wembley, and I will be buzzing. Uh, but anyway, I'm going for England 1, Germany 2. I think Germany will beat England. I don't think they'll go to extra time penalties, anything like that. I think England will get the job done in 90 minutes and they will beat, uh, and they will beat England Sorry, uh, at Wembley. I'm buzzing for it. I will be on Stephen uh, Lee's channel. So if you want to you know, check that out, I know this will be after the game, but if you want to go and check it out, if England score or Germany score, whatever... Check like my reaction to it there, but yeah, I mean it's gonna be a good game. Like I said, I'm going England one, Germany two. Uh, I think it will be in 90 minutes as well. Goal scorers, I'm gonna go with Bukaya Saka for England and for Germany. I'm gonna go for Robin Goosens and do you know what? I'm gonna go with Timo Werner. Timo Werner's winning it. You heard off me first. Two one Germany. Timo Werner to score the winner. So the lineups are in. Then the England team is a five. Uh, well, a five. 2-3 basically, but on here it's saying a 3-4-3. Three, three. Uh, anyway, it's Pixel and goal. The back three of Walker, Stones and Harry Maguire. Short as the left wing back. Rice and Phillips as sort of central midfielders. Trippier right wing back with a front three of Saka uh, on the right. Sterling on the left and Harry Kane through the middle. Um, yeah, questionable. Maybe could put a, a Grealish maybe in there. But I can see why Safegate has done that. Because Germany will play wing backs. So he's trying to combat that and trying to... Win the midfield battle with Calvin Phillips and Rice. Maybe one of the back three will push up, potentially, if it gets, you know, to, to the point where they can do that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's, there's options on the bench. Bellingham, Rashford, Sancho, Grealish, Foden, Mount. So they could all make an impact. Let's have a look at the Germany team. Uh, and let's have a look at the eleven that's going to beat England. So Germany are going with the same sort of formation. So 3-4-2-1. So instead of, you know, natural wingers, they're sort of inverted central attacking midfielders. It's Neuer and goals the captain. Ginter, Hommels, Rudiger as the back three. Gersens as the left wing back. Kimmich as the right wing back. Uh, Kroos and Goretzka in the middle. Havertz as the left attacking midfielder. Muller as the right attacking midfielder supporting Timo Werner. Uh, and the same thing with this England team, I think. With the England team, sorry. This Germany team, there's loads of talent in there. I think their 11 is better than England. But, you know, England have got so many options off the bench. Germany have got the likes of Volland, Gnabry, Sane. You know, players that can make a difference. And I think, you know, having that in your armoury for both teams, having players that can come off the bench and make a difference, it means so much. And it will help, you know, the game develop, basically. Uh, but that's a strong team. That is the Germany team. Let's get to kick-off. And hopefully, we'll be celebrating a Germany win. Come on, you dirty players. Kicked off at Wembley. England against Germany. Come on, the Germans. I'm saying Germany 2-1. Let's just see how it goes. Hopefully, England will be coming home. But, you know, not home because they're already at Wembley. But... You know what I mean? They will be going out of the tournament. Half time at Wembley. It is England nil, Germany nil. Uh, fair reflection of the first half. England bossing it so far. I think England are all over Germany. Passing the ball around Germany. Pressing high. Um, I know I don't want to admit this. But I'm going to admit it because I'm real. Um, England do deserve to be 1-0 up at the moment. Harry Kane's got to be scoring that. It's very poor from him. Ball gets played in. Sterling potentially could get you know a foul um, on there. But you know he didn't. But let's just see the chance. So, is this the Sterling chance? But, you know, it's, it's poor. So, Sterling goes through. Yes, you could say he's got fouled, but, you know, play on. Harry Kane, it's just poor. It's really poor from Harry Kane there. Um, but, like I said, it is half-time. England, nil. Germany, nil. It's been a decent first half. I'm enjoying it. End-to-end -end football. Germany have had a few chances. Timo Werner, Kai Havertz as well. Um, but if England are going to win this game, they need to take one of Rice uh, or Phillips off. One of them has to come off because... They're both on a booking. They look liable to making fouls. And for Germany, they need to get Serge Gnabry, Leroy Sane or Kevin Volland on. One of those three has to come on because Timo Werner... I know, I know his pace is effective, but he's, he's awful in the final third. But I'll see you if anything happens in the second half. Probably won't. This is probably going to be a nil-nil draw because of penalties. But hopefully there is a goal and hopefully it's a German goal. But yeah, England nil, Germany nil. England half. won, Germany nil. Raheem Sterling with the goal and England are 1-0 up. As it stands, England will play Sweden or Ukraine in the quarterfinals. And the fans at Wembley erupt. 
England go 1-0 up, like I said, 15 minutes to go, big 15 minutes for Germany, hopefully I'm praying that Germany can turn this around, but like I said, England won, Germany nil. Raheem Sterling's third goal of the tournament, England's third goal of the tournament, the only goals they've scored are down to Raheem Sterling, carried by Sterling, but you know, it, it is what it is, but they're 1-0 up, down to Raheem Sterling, the, the Man City man, uh, 15 minutes to go, big 15 minutes for England. And it is England 1, That's Germany it, nil. game over. England 2, Germany 0. Harry Kane finally scores a goal. You know, four games waiting. He finally actually done something. Oh, that's not good. Luke, Luke Shaw wins the ball back. Plays it out wide to Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish puts a... Be is he off? No, he's onside. Brilliant from Jack Grealish. He has changed this game for England. Ball comes in. Harry Kane hits his shoulder, I think, actually. See it again. But the ball does come. It's a brilliant ball in from Grealish. Harry Kane doubles England's lead and they're into the quarterfinals to play Sweden or Ukraine. Hopefully it's Ukraine because I, I, I'm just hoping I'm clutching onto something here. But the England fans going mental limbs at Wembley. But yeah, England 2, Germany 0. Germans are out of the tournament, basically, unless barring a miracle. England 2, Germany 0, Harry Kane. Time at Wembley. England 2, Germany 0. The Germans didn't really turn up today. I think England absolutely battered them. Should have been a lot more than two, to be fair. I'm not going to, you know, sit here and say England deserved to lose because they didn't. They just were the better team. And unfortunately, they are into the quarterfinals where they will play Sweden or Ukraine. That game is kicking off in just over an hour. But I'm just so annoyed. Like, it's, it's, it's irritating. It really is irritating watching that happen when Germany had chances in the game. Few and far between, I know, but... They're, they're just unlucky, the Germans. I think England... I, I, I genuinely think because of the home fans, that's got them over the line. They're playing in Rome on Saturday. So hopefully, I mean, please to God, uh, Sweden or Ukraine can do the business. That would be huge. Uh, but if you have enjoyed this match day vlog, I know you. I know England fans will. So banter me if you want. I don't care. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Turn post notifications on as well. And uh, yeah, Germany are out. England into the last eight. See you later.